You turn a puddle into oceans You set the galaxies in motion You see the magic in a single flake of snow You turn the sidewalk cracks to canyons You are a fire-breathing dragon You follow treasure maps into the wild unknown I wanna go with you I wanna go with you On a grand adventure Can't touch you. You look perfect. Oh my god. I love you. I don't want to. Oh my god. This is it. This is the one. I've been waiting to see for two and a half years. Oh my god. Can I see a spin? Oh my god. You look amazing. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <sighs> Have you been having fun? No. No? No. Look at your watch. I know. 
<laughs> it looks so good. Yeah, you look amazing. Yeah, thank How do you feel? Amazing. Good. Amazing. Good. I miss you. I was so excited I know. to see you. I know. That's really what this is. I just miss you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> wow, we had a long time for this. That's insane. You look amazing. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, I think. <laughs> you look amazing. How do your feet feel? Terrible. Terrible. I, I know. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I didn't cry yet. I'm so proud of you. Are you proud of me? I'm You're not so disappointed, right? You. you look amazing. You should have come out for me to see you. I can't I can barely stand, but I'm not crying. Wow, so, you look incredible, AJ. Do you want me to cry? I will. No, you don't have to. Okay. Say don't force it. I'll do it later. Please be seated. <coughs> so I want to welcome all, all of you to this special afternoon. My name is Dan Newharth. They know me as Dr. Dan. I'm AJ's uncle. Um, this is a special, special day. And there are so many special people here, but there are four 
that AJ and Carly wanted to especially acknowledge. Could the parents please stand? Brianna, Carl, Jan, and Joseph. Who brings this woman and man to be married? We do. <laughs> Jan and Joseph, do you welcome Carly as a member of your family? Promise to give her your love and affection and commit to loving and supporting Carly and AJ together as husband and wife. <laughs> Brianna and Carl, do you welcome AJ as a member of your family and promise to give him your love and affection and commit to loving and supporting Carly and AJ in their life together as husband and wife? Yes. <laughs> Please be seated. So Carly and AJ have a magical love story. <laughs> they met, it was probably the best possible time. It was their senior year at Radford. Radford is not a large school, as most of you know. And it turns out their paths crossed and crossed. At one point, they lived in the same dorm. At, uh, at several times, AJ went to parties at um, sorority parties at Carly's. <laughs> but Carly wasn't there. They'd never met face to face. They'd heard of each other, but they'd never met face to face. And then it was their senior year. And then the magic started. One day, Carly was on the campus and she was talking to her mom on the phone and said, OMG, I just saw the cutest guy walk by and he's got great eyebrows. <laughs> but they still hadn't met. <laughs> it gets better. So a few weeks later, there was a Halloween party at Carly's house. And at the last minute, a couple of friends dragged AJ there. He almost didn't go. And so AJ came and Carly, dressed as a mermaid, looked over and right next to the refrigerator, the mystery man in her house. And those of you who know Carly well will understand that she made a beeline towards him and was actually face to face before she knew what she was gonna say and said something like, well, who do you know here? <laughs> and AJ said, excuse me? <laughs> and their conversation continued. And they got together the next day and they had a bite to eat. And they started this connection that has gone on for many years that has brought them here today. It turns out that they were in the same media law class. Carly was thinking of dropping it. <laughs> but AJ made her laugh in class with notes and comments. In fact, they kind of got in trouble with the professor because they were giggling in the back. Um, but she stayed in the class. It was a difficult class and they both helped each other. And by the same token, when AJ met Carly, he was on the five-year plan. He was a senior, <laughs> but he had no plans to graduate in the spring. Carly, very determined, was planning to graduate. And so AJ started thinking about it and did the math. And he called my sister, Jan, and brother-in-law, Joseph, and said, you know, I've decided that I'm, I've rearranged all my courses and I'm going to do commencement this spring. <laughs> and they thought, well, that's great, but what got into him? And not long after that, they found out at Thanksgiving when AJ brought Carly to meet the family. And Jan recalled that it was love at first sight for you two and Carly, that she felt like she was part of the family and she was so easy to talk to. And at one point, Joseph was looking down from the balcony at these two and he had this twinkle in his eye because he saw that AJ had met his soulmate. Now there was one family member who wasn't that charmed and that was the cat Annabelle, which is very strange because Carly loves cats and cats love her, but Annabelle didn't like this outsider and chased her into the bathroom snarling and Carly had to text to be let out. <laughs> Carly's parents, Brianna and, and Carl, were similarly charmed. 
Carl remembers asking AJ. AJ came and said, I want your permission to marry your daughter. And Carl said, okay, I'll, I'm, I'll give you my permission, but can you tell me, you know, why you want to marry? Why you want to marry Carly? And he said, well, but can I show you the ring? <laughs> and, and Carl said, well, okay, but, but I want to hear more. And, and so AJ said, so you don't want to see the ring? And after that, Carl tells me that he talked to Brianna and said, he seems like a great guy, but what was this fixation with showing me the ring? And Brianna said, the way mothers know, he wanted to show you that he would take care of your little girl. AJ had spent months trying to find the perfect diamond, the perfect shape and cut and clarity. He had this picture in his mind, not the biggest diamond, not the most expensive one, the diamond that was perfect for her. And what it said, what he was saying with that is that he was trying to reassure both of his future parents-in-law that he would go to the ends of the earth to take care and be there for Carly. Carly didn't know about the ring or the permission yet and was wondering when it was going to ask her. And so the 4th of July was coming and there was a family picnic planned for the first time really that the New Hearts and Koishas and Barties would pretty much all get together. It was at the top of the museum. Carly asked her sister Brittany, is he going to do it on Independence Day? He is, isn't he? And Brittany, who was sworn to silence, said, he's going to do it, but he doesn't have the ring yet. And so everyone knew, but apparently we think that Carly didn't know. And Brianna said, I'm pretty sure she didn't because she wore jeans. She would never ask jeans if she knew she was going to be proposed to. <laughs> so on the 4th of July, the, with thousands of people in the streets, the blue angels swirling overhead, um, AJ had set up with his sister, Danny, to say, let's take a picture with the two of you with the Capitol in the background. And so they went over to get this picture. And then Danny, by prearrangement, turned on the song that you heard just then when Carly came in. And AJ went down on one knee and Carly gasped. And looking back, and she said yes, obviously. <laughs> and looking back, AJ told me the world stopped, time stopped. I was entirely focused on Carly and her and what I was asking her to do. And it was the best day of my life. And AJ, maybe today will surpass that as the best day of your life. So they, these two have such a special connection. Looking back, Carly told me, I can't believe I snagged him. And she said that meeting him when she did was unbelievable. She said it was like going to a restaurant with great takeout where you get a bag of French fries that are really good. <laughs> and you're eating the French fries and they're good and they're good. And then and you're getting to the bottom of the bag and it's kind of sad because <laughs> they were so good and you're going to run out. And you think you've run out and then you look deep in the bottom in the fold of the bag and there's one more fry <laughs> and it's the perfect French fry. <laughs> A uh, French fry you can't believe was that perfect. <laughs> and that's how she felt about AJ. <laughs> In fact, when AJ would text, a French fry emoji would pop up. <laughs> Carly told me that AJ spent so much time getting to know her, asking her questions about how she felt, how she thought, and it made her feel cherished and it made her feel safe. AJ told me that he feels secure, so secure in the relationship that he feels confident to go out in the world, to be his goofy self. And um, uh, uh, Carly told me that meeting AJ opened her heart in a way that she can express love openly more than she ever had been able to. AJ said that Carly um, is one of the kindest people that he knows, one of the most considerate people he knows. We have a, a family 
member who is um, pretty severely autistic and is very hard to interact with. And the first time Carly met her, she spent two hours talking with her. And this young girl was like engaged and telling her everything. None of us have been able to talk to her for more than two minutes. That's who Carly is. And every time she meets Carly, she's, she lights up. Finally, Carly told me that what she loves about the relationship with AJ is that there's love, there's trust, and there's respect. And as a marriage counselor for 25 years, I've seen thousands of couples, and I tell them that the three things that make a great marriage are just that, trust, love, and respect, because it brings security. The gift of love and marriage is, there are so many, but one of their deepest gifts is that it's a safe place to come home to, a place to be yourself, knowing it's okay to be your best self, your cranky self, your grouchy, worried, passionate, wonderful self. They're all okay because your partner will accept you. Carly and AJ, you have created a wonderful start on your life's journey together. You've already created a strong bond. And with your love and care, that bond can grow stronger and stronger for many years. So it turns out that in Virginia, anyone can get a license to marry another person for a day if you meet three requirements. One is you have to be at least 18. One is you have to be a resident of Virginia. And the third is you can't be a convicted felon. <laughs> So being from California, I'm disqualified on at least one of those. <laughs> so we have a very special person who's going to come up and help make this marriage official. Sarah. Thank you for that <laughs> rousing introduction. <laughs> Carly and AJ, so nice to see you guys standing here today. I invite you to join hands. Carly and AJ, now you will declare your intent to be married. Do you, AJ, take Carly to be your lawfully wedded wife, to share your life and your dreams, to build with her a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth, standing with her in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and love forevermore? If so, please say I do. Yeah. Do you, Carly, take AJ to be your lawfully wedded husband, to share your life and your dreams, to build with him a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth, standing with him in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and love forevermore? If so, please say, I do. I do. AJ and Carly, you're now going to give your vows to each other. So AJ, please repeat after me. I, AJ, take you, Carly, to be my wife. I, AJ, take you, Carly, to be my wife. My partner in life and my one true love. My partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. I will trust and honor you. I will trust and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I'll always be there. I will love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will love you today, tomorrow, and forever. Harley, please repeat after me. I, Carly, take you, AJ, to be my husband. I, Carly, take you, AJ, to be my husband. My partner in life and my one true love. My partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. I will trust and honor you. I will trust and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. 
Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I will always be there. I will love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And we have the rings. So today you have ex chosen to exchange wedding rings, sy symbols of your eternal love. These rings can be reminders to each of you every day of your lives of the love you share and the promises you have made to each other today. AJ. As you place this ring on Carly's finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring as a reminder. I give you this ring as a reminder. That I will love, honor, and cherish you. That I will love, honor, and cherish you. In all times, in all places. In all times, in all places. And in all ways forever. And always forever. In all ways forever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Carly, as you place the ring on AJ's finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring as a reminder. I give you this ring as a reminder. That I will love, honor, and cherish you. That I will love, honor, and cherish you. In all times, in all places. In all times, in all places. In all ways, forever. In all ways, forever. <laughs> Are you the most excited? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Before Dr. Dan and I have the honor of pronouncing you husband and wife, I have just one more thing I'd like you to do. Your wedding day is one that seems to fly by. It's a day filled with emotion, friends, photos, <laughs> rings, dances. Many people here probably remember how fleeting their very own wedding day was. So I want you to take a few seconds and look into each other's eyes. Think about the happiness that you're feeling in this place at this moment. Really let that register in your hearts and minds. Now I want you to think about your life together in 20 years. Where are you? What are you doing? We all know that your visions of the future are not identical, but always complementary. May life's challenges be met together with courage and optimism. May your days be filled with laughter, imagination, trust, friendship, and love. Remember, like a river flows, surely to the sea. Darling, so it goes. Some things you know are meant to be. Carly and AJ. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're <laughs> Carly and AJ, you have expressed your love to one another through the commitment and promises you've just made. It is with these in mind, with the authority vested in me by the Humanist Society in the Commonwealth of Virginia, that I pronounce you husband and wife. You may, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Dearest friends and family, it's now my pleasure to present for the first time as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Newharth Koish.
than one I'd want to spend about a hundred days with Laying in the yard, staring up at stars Wondering where all the planes went It would be you Our 
All right, please give it up for our maid of honor and best man, Brittany and Dan. And it is with great pleasure presented for the first time as husband and wife, the NKs. God or fell off, I'm still hot, knock your shell off My money stacked fat, plus I can't turn the swell off A franchise doing big business, I live this, it's automatic I win this, so you hear those horns, you finish A soldier, and I stay under you fighting Plus I'm storming on these chumps like I'm thunder and lightning Ain't no way you breaking me, kid, I'm harder than nails Plus I keep it on lock like I'm part of the jail I'm slaughtering stale competition I got the whole block wishing they could run with my division But they going I may not always love you As long as there are stars above you You never need to doubt it I'll make you so sure about it God only knows what I'd be God only knows what I'd be without you If you should ever leave me Though life would still go on, believe me The world could show nothing to me So I could would live and do me God only knows what I'd be without you God only knows what I'd be without you God only knows what I'd be without you Ooh, oh, God only knows what I'd be without you Okay, this is a tough one again. First of all, thank you so much for everybody to be here and celebrate our sons and his daughters, their daughter's wedding. And uh, when you just saw him on the dance floor here, I mean, I know for sure he got those moves from me. <laughs> <laughs> But it again, she says, it's not all about you. <laughs> it's the whole family kind of get together here today where we actually finally cemented. And so I officially, I cannot get rid of Carl anymore. <laughs> so, and thank you so much for everybody to be here and celebrate one of my happiest days in my life other than my wedding. So there you go. Again. <laughs> um, th this, this will be a lot briefer because uh, Dr. Dan pretty much covered everything I was going to say. But before I walked up, Rihanna slipped me a note of encouragement for, for this little talk. And I think I'd share it with uh, Carly and AJ because you should know the importance of encouragement in a marriage. So B wrote, Carl, good luck. <laughs> Do not embarrass anybody, especially Carly. Be sincere, be funny, but not too funny. Don't go too long, you will be great. <laughs> That's as long as you don't screw it up, B. <laughs> so, um, Obviously, this is a family affair, but and I want to thank Jan and Joseph not only for their participation in making tonight uh, possible, but their greatest contribution tonight is the fact that they raised AJ to be a man. Aww. 
Every father wants their daughter to marry a man, not a boy child, a boy man, a boy band. Um, and as of tonight, I'm three for three in the quality son-in-laws. So, as you all know, this has been going, the planning for 27 months. For 27 months, I've uh, been telling people my youngest daughter is getting married. And the very first question they ask is, do you like him? And it turns out a lot of fathers aren't necessarily too excited about the son-in-law. Um, and I always, the answer was always the same. I go, Brandon, I love him. He's a great kid. And they go, really? Well, what, what about him? What is that that you like? And I said, well, AJ clearly adores Carly. He's a gentleman. He's thoughtful. He's generous. He's very considerate. He's smart. He's hardworking. He has great work ethic. And more importantly, he seems to have the patience he's going to need to be married to a Barty. <laughs> and, and for all these great qualities, I need to honestly thank and acknowledge his mom, Jan. But my favorite part about AJ is that he's a little bit of a wise ass. He's, he's very, very quick-witted and he makes an incredible gin and tonic. And for that, I wanna thank Joseph. So I'm a, this is where you officially welcome AJ to the family. Woo! But the truth is you've been part of the family since the day we met you. Yes, sir. And the day you asked me for Carly's hand in marriage was the day I stopped worrying about who would take care of Carly when I long, no longer can. Oh. <laughs> Carly. You represent the very best of mom and me. And I don't mean like 50-50 either, but <laughs> you'll figure that out. But for everybody to truly understand who Carly is and who she turned out to be and who's here today, we need to explore our roles and contributions as a pa her parents. My role as Carly's dad was easy. I taught her finance. <laughs> I think they need to understand the true meaning of where money comes from and how to earn it. Carly learned that very quickly. Like, Dad, can I have $20? <laughs> Every time Carly left the house, she would say, Dad, can I have $20? It was never a different amount. She could be walking to the mailbox. Somehow she needed $20. <laughs> I also taught her auto maintenance, auto, auto maintenance. Understand how to take care of the car and be self-reliant. Do not have to rely on a man to do all that stuff. So it was me who filled up her car with gas, <laughs> cleared off the snow from the windshield, and warmed it up before she went to school. And for that, I'm sorry. And lastly, how to negotiate. Um, a very valuable, important life skill, as we all know. At night, while other parents were reading Dr. Seuss to her, or to their children, I would be reading to her, getting to yes, negotiating agreement without giving in. It's by, it's by Roger Fisher, if you haven't read it. Carly also learned this skill very quickly. It would never argue with me. She would just go to Brianna and get yes. And she would go, Dad, it's easier. Brianna. Brianna's role as a parent was very different than mine. And some uninformed observers might say much more impactful and beneficial to Carly's development. I personally think Brandon was cheating and reading parenting books on the side. I clearly was not. Brianna, Brianna provided Carly with 100% unconditional love. An ability to just listen and listen for hours and hours. The patience of a saint. Kindness and always lead with your heart loyalty and how to be a true friend for a caring and, and be, how to be a caring and supportive sister. And she also taught her a little bit of finance for sneaking Carly extra money when she was at Radford, <laughs> even though she was on a very, very strict budget. 
There we go. We're all stuck together. Brianna, thank you for passing on all these wonderful qualities, your wonderful qualities to Carly to help her become the person she is today. Carly, you are your mother's daughter. Your mom and I love you, and we're very proud of you. We are very excited what lies ahead for you and C uh, for you and AJ. <laughs> hey, I used to call him Gus. Now he's AJ. Very, very excited for what lies ahead for you and AJ. In closing, as my closest friend Damon has always said, and he's also raised three daughters, the person your daughter marries is one of the biggest decisions she will ever make in her life. AJ, we're very happy you asked Carly to marry you, and we're ecstatic that she said yes. So if you would please raise your glasses. Here's to building a life together that is filled with health, great happiness, surrounded by your loving family and friends, and grandkids, and lots of grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I am Brittany, Carly's older sister. And I'm Dan, one of AJ's best friend and Carly's brother-in-law. Well, you guys probably know us mostly as James and Cecilia's parents. Mom Woo! and Dad. <laughs> we have the unique experience today of giving a speech together as a couple um, about these two people who we love so much. Uh, a little bit about Carly as a child. Um, she was very <laughs> vibrant um, when we were young my parents would get babysitters and they'd have to get one babysitter for Haley and I. And then Carly would have a separate babysitter just to take care of her. <laughs> that is true, that is a true story. Um, she was nonstop, full of energy all the time. But you guys know her now, you can see how brilliant she is that she has harnessed all that crazy energy into success in her life. Carly is the kind of person that people have always flocked to be around because she's just radiates so much joy. Um, she is funny and caring and exciting to just, just be around and be in the presence of. Um, she lights up a room without even trying. Uh, her personality just takes over whatever space that she's in. <laughs> I'll be in a room with her full of people. I will say something and hear crickets. She will say the exact same thing, <laughs> word for word, the entire room will laugh. <laughs> we just joke that I just like supply her with the material and she just delivers it. That's just she how really she is. Do. When AJ came into our family's lives, uh, Brittany and I were just freshly married. Um, and AJ always talks about how annoying it was <laughs> that he missed the, the wedding by just four months. Um, but, you know, one moment. <laughs> he wants, <laughs> sorry, I missed my spot. <laughs> Uh, and that's because he wants to, us to renew our vows so that he can be in the family wedding, wedding album. Best man, baby. We all clicked right away with AJ, especially in the beginning when he was still trying to impress us. That's gone a little bit. Uh, it's cliche to say something is different about them, but it obviously is. They'll, they just have a uniqueness about them together. They are um, different and similar in so many ways. AJ has a list a mile long of foods that he won't eat. <laughs> and... Carly, meanwhile, uh, has been eating lobster and oysters since the age of three. <laughs> but of course, that doesn't matter. What does matter is how much he loves her, and he loves her. He may not eat seafood or mayonnaise, but his heart is as big as it gets. Yeah. <laughs> this is the same guy who got lost for two hours in Charleston at his bachelor party uh, and was found riding in the back of a pedicab <laughs> with a dead cell phone and a pack of uh, Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> That's 100% honest. <laughs> that was like three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> We're so lucky to be marrying into the New Hearthquish family. From day one, they have been welcoming us with open arms. We've been celebrating some holidays together for years. I think we've invested so much time into each other's lives uh, since the beginning because we just knew it was it for them. We knew they were in it for the long haul, so we better start loving each other too. When you have people as good as AJ and Carly, their family must be just as great. Loving and caring and selflessness are just a few qualities that their families must have to create a couple of people just like them. Thank you to the parents who brought these two people into all of our lives and then brought us all here to celebrate them. 
Speaking of family, becoming parents changed us, obviously, but also changed our relationship with everyone we love. Watching Carly and AJ become aunt and uncle <laughs> was such a gift. A gift to see another layer of them and how much love they have to give. Unky J and Tay Tay, <laughs> as our kids call them, um, are the kind of aunt and uncle who always show up. And when they do, they bring a two-person motorized SUV <laughs> as a birthday present. <laughs> We just fell in love with AJ and the relationship he has with our kids, and he just truly cherishes it. COVID struck down Carly and AJ's plans for a New Year's Eve uh, wedding, but it actually led them to something pretty great as well. Um, it created their first hurdle, their first curveball that life handed them um, that they had to navigate together. Uh, planning a wedding is stressful for any relationship, but uh, planning two weddings I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you the resilience of these two, though. They didn't even skip a beat. Every negative thought was quickly waved away thinking about how others had it worse. And they just picked themselves up and planned a whole second wedding. <laughs> of course, life will keep building these hurdles to climb, but I'm so proud of them for getting through this one. I'm proud of all of us for getting through this, and I can't think of a better way to commemorate that than celebrating the marriage of Carly and AJ. Carly, you're the best person that I've ever known. <laughs> and AJ, you're the luckiest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so raise a glass to the most stunning couple and the beautiful life you've cre created together. <laughs> Congratulations. That was incredible, brother. That was fucking incredible, brother. Love you. Love you. Hey everyone! Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so we don't have anything planned to no, say. Um, but I think it just comes so naturally when you're surrounded by every single person that you love and care about and appreciate. And it's genuinely like, an surreal experience to be surrounded by so many incredible people who traveled here and put the time in to come and celebrate us. And I just hope you all know how special you are to us and what it means that everyone's here. And I just know from the bottom of our hearts, we can't thank you guys enough and just how much we love all of you and appreciate you being here and how excited we are to commemorate our love for each other and celebrate our lives together. So thank you so much. He didn't say I I had to wing the speech last night at the rehearsal dinner too. He literally was like, ditto. So let's see what AJ can say because he hasn't contributed. Right, let me all. get this. Let me get this. Shit, come on. I mean my wife said it perfectly. But Like, literally every person from every stages, every stage of our lives, like, I mean, look, you got my boy Nick over there. Like, I mean, no, like, and, and you got, I mean, it's just every single person here is from the same part of our lives and different part of our lives and have been the most important part of our lives forever. And just to see everybody here just celebrating, you know, us, of course, but also just happiness and love and, and, you know, just a way to everybody to get together and and have this moment is just it's without a doubt the best day of my life um and mom and dad and mom and dad 2.0 it's thank you for absolutely everything um efficient dr dan thank you for everything all of our incredible vendors rachel and dan and kerr and everybody for this absolutely stunning wedding um we're <laughs> We're so ecstatic and honestly at a loss for words. So thank you guys for everything. And Let's party, baby! Gotta hold on easy 
as I let you go Gonna tell you how much I love you Though you think you already know I remember I thought you looked like an angel Wrapped in pink so soft and warm You've had me wrapped around your finger Since the day you were born From the outside in Chase your dreams But always know the road That'll lead you home again Go on, take on this old world But to me you know you'll always be My That crooked little smile could melt my heart of stone Now look at you, I've turned around and you've almost grown Sometimes you're asleep, I whisper I love you in the moonlight at your door As I walk away, I hear you say, Daddy, love you more Lucky to have you guys. I love you. Thank you for having me here. Cheers. My favorite people. Daphne, you well with. Hello. Oh Congrats. my gosh. Thank you guys for having me. It's a wonderful night. Amazing wedding. You guys are the best. Cheers. 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 Love you. Cheers. Love you. We love you guys. Great love you party. So much. So great. And thanks for bringing all of us together. We yeah. love you. We love you. 
Carly, AJ, oh, I fucking so love you. I'm so happy for you guys. Oh my god, message. Whenever I talk about you guys, I tell you that, or I tell people that you're one of the couples that I aspire to be. Love you guys. Yes, literally look up to you. Carly, you're so fucking beautiful. I can't. Hello, AJ. I love you to pieces. I had this before you were born, and I'm in love with Carly. Good job. Enjoy your life. Love ya. It's Andy Ganel. I'm going to cry. But I'm so happy for the both of you. Today was so beautiful. I wouldn't have missed it for anything. I love you both. And I'll see you soon. Okay, you gotta get it down here. Let me sort of look at it. Now we're actually all of a sudden talking. There you are. See that? So let me say, oh, there we are again. AJ, Carly, what a wonderful, gorgeous day. Beautiful couple. Good luck. It's just the dad says love you guys. Carly and AJ, I love you. I said something last night. I know how I feel, but I'm glad this day finally happened. I'm glad that Carly decided to take our crazy last name. That I couldn't ask for a better sister or a better brother. And I love you both so much in my entire heart. And today was amazing. Dude, AJ, you're a smart man. You married a smart woman. She's gorgeous. Like, even in person. That means a lot. Happy, we love you. Happy wife, happy life. You're the sexiest man alive. We love you. And you happen to marry the sexiest woman alive. We and, we, and I can't wait to play golf with you. Oh, my God. We wish you guys the best. And it's going to be amazing. We're so happy we get to share this with you. Amazing wedding. Yes. It was definitely worth the wait. Thank you for having us. We love you guys so much. Many blessings. Hey, AJ and Carly. Hi, guys. Hey, and Ryan. Here I am. I'm on screen now. Hey, we love y'all. Don't get it twisted, though. The other guy made you, baby boy. We, we love, love you guys. You. And we're so happy for you. Hey, I used to have more hair when I met y'all, but um, the fact that we I don't, you still love a me. Bit. We love you. Spaces we be closing in on us, we come alive, giving everything away into the Tracing your life. I wanna be the one.